In this video, I'm going to share with you the five levels of astrology so you can see where you are in your astrological journey. Welcome back and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Alison Price, an astrologer in Vancouver, Canada, and astrology is my passion. But what I love most is helping aspiring astrologers get to recharge all by their own selves. On this channel you will find astrology tips, tricks and techniques to help you become a more effective astrologer. Let's get started. So let's take a look at the five levels of astrologer. Level one is the hobbyist astrologer. If you are a hobbyist astrologer, you read your horoscope every week. As a hobbyist astrologer, you know your own and your family's members' sun signs. As a hobbyist astrologer, you can discuss astrology at a dinner party. And as a hobbyist astrologer, you know enough about astrology to be dangerous. If you are a hobbyist astrologer, write hobbyist in the comments below. Level two is the student astrologer. If you are a student astrologer, you have attended an astrology lecture. As a student astrologer, you own five astrology books, including an ephemeris. As a student astrologer, you subscribe to The Mountain Astrologer, which is a magazine. As a student astrologer, you have taken at least one astrology lesson. And as a student astrologer, you are considering attending an astrology conference if you haven't already been. As a student astrologer, you own Astro Gold, arguably one of the better apps for iPhone and iPad. If you believe you are a student astrologer, write student in the comments below. Level three, an amateur astrologer. All the other levels plus. An amateur astrologer can read the glyphs in a chart. As an amateur astrologer, you know the signs, planets, houses and aspects. As an amateur astrologer, you own 10 astrology books, including a table of houses. As an amateur astrologer, you have at least one planet specific book, perhaps on the moon. As an amateur astrologer, you are a member of your local astrology group. As an amateur astrologer, you have taken a formal astrology education course. And as an amateur astrologer, you can interpret charts for your family and friends. An amateur astrologer can debate house systems, such as Placidus, Koch, Equal House or Regio Mantanus. As an amateur astrologer, you have attended an astrology conference. As an amateur astrologer, you own the latest version of Solar Fire premium astrology software. And as an amateur astrologer, you know at least four forecasting techniques. As an amateur astrologer, you are invited to speak locally. If you are an amateur astrologer, write amateur in the comments below. Level four is the professional astrologer. As a professional astrologer, you can 
construct a chart from scratch without a computer. As a professional astrologer, you can calculate forecasts from scratch without a computer. As a professional astrologer, you have an extensive astrological library with duplicate editions. The old and the new. As a professional astrologer, you subscribe to all the trade periodicals. As a professional astrologer, you are a member of the International Astrology Associations, of which there are many. As a professional astrologer, you accept payments for your work. As a professional astrologer, your income surpasses 12,000 US dollars a year from astrology. So that is $1,000 a month. As a professional astrologer, you are invited to speak internationally. If you are a professional astrologer, you have appeared on TV or radio. As a professional astrologer, you write a column or a blog. As a professional astrologer, you own your own astrology website. And as a professional astrologer, you have published an astrology book. If you believe you are a professional astrologer, write professional in the comments below. Let's have a look at the final level, level five, master astrologer. If you are a master astrologer, you have been a professional astrologer who accepts payments for at least 10 years. As a master astrologer, you are considered a guru in the astrological community. As a master astrologer, you have written more than one book. As a master astrologer, your income exceeds 60,000 US dollars a year from astrology. So that works out to around 5,000 US dollars a month. As a master astrologer, your name is known by the general public. As a master astrologer, you are the keynote speaker. As a master astrologer, you are the recipient of astrology awards acknowledging your contribution. And as a master astrologer, you may have forsaken daily consultations for focused research. As a master astrologer, you are the Astro Rati of the day. If you believe you are a master astrologer, write master in the comments below. So from this list of five levels of astrologies, you can now see where you are in your astrological journey. Obviously, you can be straddling two levels at once. So the levels are, just to remind you, it's, it's hobbyist, student, amateur, professional and master. These are the five levels of astrologer and you could be either one of them or straddling two levels, maybe even three in certain circumstances. But either way, it gives you an idea of how you can consider yourself as an astrologer by your skills, attributes and what you actually know about astrology. So there you are, the five levels of astrologer. Now you can see where you are. You might be in one level or you might be straddling two or even maybe even reaching forward into a third. 
Not everyone aspires to be a master astrologer, but certainly the journey of becoming one is quite clear. I'm creating a handy downloadable sheet for you with all the criteria on it that you can get in the comments below. If you're on my mail list, you'll receive it anyway. I'm Alison Price. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.